What is going on Brock Squad? Hope all of you are doing well. Today's video we've got something special in store. As you can tell by the title, you already know what it is. Today's video is going to be me teaching all you guys and all you street riders, all you park riders, whatever the case may be. And I'm teaching all you guys today how to be street. Well, not only that, but how to be trendy. They're kind of like two different things. So to sum it up, I'm going to be teaching you how to be a trendy street rider. Now there's a few things that this would obviously involve. Grinding rails, not riding ramps, riding street spots. You can still ride parks as a street rider, guys. It's all like a style. It is a style. That's where being trendy comes in handy because being trendy and street, just, it's a match hard to beat. It is honestly a match hard to beat. So I'm going to get into teaching you guys how to do that, what you need to do, how you need to dress, all that kind of stuff, what tricks you need to do, what stuff you need to practice, all that kind of stuff. Now this is also half, half a joke video too, so we're going to over exaggerate it a little bit. But at the same time, this is some facts. So do take this video on board. At the same time, it is just going to be a funny video. So let's get into it. So right now I'm going to get into how you got to dress. You don't actually get to dress like this, guys, but just dress similar, you know, just be trendy, you know, whatever's trendy to you, if, it, if you know, you'll kind of know once you know what trendy is and street, you'll know what's obviously good and not good to wear. So Saundesi bucket hats, guys, essential, essential. If you don't have one of these, you, uh, you're nowhere near what we're trying to do today. You're nowhere near meeting the criteria, guys. So Saundesi bucket hat, if you ain't got one of these, you are sleeping. www.cobrabrand.com.au Go cop yourself one, guys, while they're in. But if you don't have a Saundesi bucket hat to improve your balance, speed, agility, everything, just all around, all your stats, then a dad hat will do. And I'll show you what right now. My man has one on. Where is your bucket hat? Where Sold is it. your bucket hat? For these. Sold it. Sold for it for these. Dickies. I mean, that, we're going to get into that shortly. That, I mean... But, ah, uh, I don't know if that's, no, uh, no, nah, I still don't approve. Pass it over here. <laughs> so, the next thing, you, dad cap. You can either wear a dad cap. Chuck me a dad cap. Chuck me a dad cap. Yeah, that's right. That's right. This is me without a hat. So, dad caps we do. Dad caps we do. Not only that, you, to be clear, <laughs> have it backwards. That's a real good. Have it backwards for extra trend. This is a McCann style. <laughs> or even for extra, extra trend, extra trend points onto your trend levels for sideways. Sorry for that interruption. So this is just like, this is this or the Saundesi bucket hat to be honest. But, I'm a man of the Saundesi bucket hat. Have to say, have to say. Now we're gonna move our way down. For the shirt, anything we do, you can wear a t-shirt, nice tee. It's gonna be a nice color, nice design, whatever the case may be. Long sleeves do, long sleeves do real nice. My man Ollie's got a long sleeve on. What you rocking with there? I don't know what that is, but that's steezy. See what I mean, guys? See what I mean, guys? Pass it back. Like, you can't see, but it's, it's a shirt. Shirt's a shirt. You know, clothing's clothing. It's all the same material, but it's steezy, boys. It's steezy, you know? And then you can get the jumper and just mix that in with your look for extra steeze points. I'll show you a few examples right now. Here's one example. This is probably the least steezy way you can have your jumper, not gonna lie. This is kind of what like rich people wear, kind of like rich white boys like Harry Tate. That's kind of like what they were. Harry Tate, like, you know, tennis players, you know, like gol golfers, you know, rich dads, that kind of thing. Living a mansion type stuff. So I would not suggest this one. Then there is this one, okay? This is pretty steezy, okay? This is one, in, it, this is in the top two. This is definitely in the top two. This is just a casual go out for a steeze walk, you know, go out for a steeze scooter, get this on for a little chill and stuff. But then there's this one, this one, I'm telling you. This is the steeze one. If, if you really want steeze, this is probably the top one you can get. Look, it's got it there. That's extra points right there. Just look at that, that's what I'm talking about. You, you agree with that, guys? You yeah. Like that? The next one you could do is probably the best, the best one, the best one. It's the old, the old face mask jumper look. This is probably the most steeziest one you can get with. So I suggest you guys do that. And tag me in on Instagram and stuff. But, you know, enough of the jumper. We're going to get into the next part you need. And we're going to come down to the dickies. The dickies, the pants. If you do not have dickies, you're not, you're not, you're nowhere near in the criteria that you need to be. If you, if you have jeans, skinny jeans, whatever the case may be, I mean, you can have loose pants, baggy pants, like, but Dickies, man, the most reliable work pant, I'd say, out of all the Dickies styles, double knees are the most preferable, because they got double protection. What Dickies are you running with, my man? Slim straight. 
Slim Straight. Slim Straight's also good, but they better not be fake dickies. They can be any sort of dickies, as you can see. Dickies, genuine, genuine freaking dickies. And then also, also, check it back there. I got something else to say. Something else to add. Gotta run that shoelace. Shoelace. Ollie doesn't agree. I tell you why, because there's another steezy way you can, you can have it. So either go get a shoelace or you go the belt, tuck in the shirt, let's get that done. That's it, mate. That's, I think that beats my way. That beats the shoelace for sure. But they are two options you can go with. You look like a grandpa, mate. That's good. That's steezy. That's what you need, dude. Anyway, so pass it back to Ollie. Another rule you have to abide by, guys. And that's with the dickies. Can you see what I'm missing? Cuffs. Cuffs. If you guys did not guess that, you, you're not quite at the criteria yet. So, right. what do you want to do? You want to go one cuff, nowhere near enough, dude. Nowhere near enough. Two cuffs, ain't cutting it. Three, four cuffs, need a bit more, need a bit more, need a bit more. Five cuffs, six cuffs. Yeah, perfect. Getting there, getting there, getting there. Seven, eight, mate. Pull the socks up a little higher because you get our high socks and you cuff them. Mate, mate, I'm a trend lord. I'll go do that to the other one real quick. That's all out trend right there, boys. That's all out trend right there. No, I'm kind of kidding. I'm kind of kidding with that one. In all seriousness, I only do two cuffs. That's what I do. So I'm just gonna get that back down. I'm a two cuff man. Yeah. There we go. And I kind of make them nice and thick cuffs. You want them nice and thick. You know, you don't want them looking fucked up there. You want them half decent. Dogs pulled up high. And then when it comes to the shoes, of course, I abide by the Nikes, man. The Nike Janoskis. I swear by them, have been rocking the Janoskis since day freaking one. Let me just catch him out real quick. Your socks high. That's it. You ain't steezy if your socks ain't high. Yeah. Yeah, you mate. What's shoes today? Adidas. Adidas. <sighs> swear everyone on them, dude. You gotta get on them Noskies, bro. Had a pair. Noskies. Run out too quick. Just don't have moon boots or high tops or just chunky looking gay shoes. I don't know, man. What was that? Oh, that Dude, but yeah, so you, you obviously know what kind of nice shoes look like. You just could have some good shoes. Now that right there is all friend. That's what you're trying to achieve to look like right there. Oh, he's kind of half got the look. He needs a bit of the age on him too. Bit of the age, you need some cuffs. Cuff him up, cuff him up. What I do, I have what you fat do? cuffs. And the fat cuffs is a little different to what I do. So like, big cuffs. Big, big, thick, lengthy big cuffs. Or wide cuffs. I see, I see. I back. I back, let's see that cough. Bang. 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 See him, see him. That's so gang. That's so gang right there. Now what we're gonna get into is some trendy slash street tricks we're gonna do on the flat bar right here. If you did not know, we have the flat bar out. Look at that guy. We're just gonna get really creative, be completely silly, and just do the absolute most ridiculous trendy tricks. That's the that's the goal of right now, is it not? My man, let's see how creative we can get. Being street and trendy is literally all about thinking out of the box and just being yourself. Oliver White's gonna try and think outside of the box, do some trendy tricks to start off this segment of the video. Well, this segment of the tutorial. No comply board slide. Oh, yeah, put on extra steez at the end. I like that. What else has he got? Ooh, pre-caveman. Ooh, a little steez in the end. Don't tell me he's gonna do that on the end of every trick. You gotta do some, a lot of cavemans, guys. Take what was that? What were you trying to run in like, dude? What was that? You tried to run in so weird on that. You gotta do a lot of cavemans, guys. A lot of cross foots, switch foots, sex change, switch tricks, all that, all that good stuff. Caveman board sex change. See, that's what I'm talking about. Let's see a cross foot trick, bro. Let's see a cross foot trick, bro. That's what I wanna see. Front board whip cross foot. That, that, wait, 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 wait. Slow my replay. Dude. Nice. Let's see some more. 
See some more goodies. Think outside of the box, Ollie, and you'll never run out. I don't know what that was, Ollie. But I liked it. It was trendy. It's different. <laughs> oh yeah, see that's 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 my man. That's my man right there. Let's see something else, brother. Whoa, was that a hanger? Cross foot on the hanger? Let's see a board deck grab kind of stuff. You need to always grab your deck, take your hands off, do all this weird stuff. Oh no, nah, let's land that, let's land that. For the viewers, for the viewers, like this video if he lands it. Oh, Ollie man. Get your trend on bro. You'll land it. Release your inner trend, dude. Man. Get back there and release your inner trend. What? Oh, what do you forget? Oh, how could you? Are the dickies cuffed? The dickies aren't even cuffed. Whatever this trick, that doesn't count even if you land it. You gotta cuff your dickies, bro. Dude, what are you doing? Cuff your dickies, dude. Cuff them. My guy. Nah, it didn't count. You gotta cuff your dickies. You gotta cuff your dickies, that's why. What? You gotta cuff your dickies. Oh. Damn, dude. Who's man's? He gets to tuck in his shirt and cuff his dickies. Hat sideways, dude. That's the stuff, bro. You're gonna land it now, man, I'm telling you. Dude, see, it's all in the way you dress, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. We've reached new levels of trend, my guy. Let's take over, see if I can, you know, do some different kind of stuff. But he did a lot of trendy stuff. It's gonna be hard to beat. You got his trend jumper on. Actually, train you got to run in caveman or with one hand. To have actually train you need to run in caveman. Oh, at a bar. Half bar, no hands, one push up. Extra trend. To no hands. Oh, board sex change board. Right, we're rolling now. We're rolling now. Oh no way. Oh she. Holy bangers. Holy bangers. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh. She. NBD? What was it? Cake Man Board Decker? I haven't seen that done. Oh. Tap on the front, tap on the back. Double smacker. It's called the double smacker. I think I got a few more in me, dude. I'm pretty creative. I'm pretty creative. What did you call that creative? Was that a nose bonk? Yeah. Yeah, that's sick.
Oh. Wow. Wow. I'm actually kind of hot on that. Yeah, I'll see. Yeah, I'll land three more, land three more. Whip to lip, cross foot. Cross foot out. Get that, it's funny. <laughs> oh, no way. demonstrated like all there is. I think we got the point across pretty well. Just gotta think outside of the box. That's all it is. Hope all of you guys enjoyed all those clips of me and my man Oliver. Shouts out to my man for helping me stack some goodies and trying to think outside of the box. I think we got the point across guys. That's all you really need to do. Just try and get creative, think outside of the box and just all around do things people aren't doing. And of course, we over exaggerated how you gotta dress a little and what tricks you gotta do. We're kinda just messing around trying to have some fun. But I do think we did learn some NBDs and just come up with some all around new tricks for the scootering community, which is kinda crazy. Even just having a little flat bar session with your friend, just jibbing around, can create a new trick potentially which is crazy so I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to be a steezy street rider like myself and Oliver White. Nah jokes we're, we're, we're kind of steezy but if you follow all our steps you can you can be steezier than us for sure because we do not follow all that criteria. If you if you full follow all this criteria tag us on Instagram try your best to just I don't know make a funny video or whatever win you win you're definitely steezier but um but yeah that's probably all that's going to be in today's video I just tried to make a funny kind of interesting video that's really different to all my other vlogs and stuff this was just like a muck around video I'd drop a fatty like on this video and turn on post notifications so you can see more funny videos and of course leave a comment in the comment section down below with the hashtag Brock Squad. with that being said I think I'm gonna wrap up the video here like check comment subscribe if you're new turn the notifications button on to get notified whenever I come out with a new video and of course Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.